Hello everyone, this is Jeremiah Hotman with another tutorial for the Tutorial Brothers. I have to apologize again for waiting so long to do this one, but I think you guys will definitely enjoy this one. This one is a very fun tutorial. I'm going to be showing you the how to do a simple logo in Blender 3D. This is version 2.63 and Adobe, Af Adobe Illustrator CS5. This one is... Um, what am I saying? Adobe Illustrator CS5. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start with CS5. So what you're going to start off doing is this is the basic opening up screen. You'll hit File and you'll click New or New from Template. I'll just go New and enter the stuff in myself. Now this is the number of artboards. Kind of ignore that one for now. Um, this is your size. You can do a letter, which is what is it? Eight by eleven. 8 inches by 11 inches, and so on. Um, you'll name it. And then you'll add the width and height. I'll just go... Let's see. Basic width. And this is by pixels. However, you can change it to points, inches, millimeters, centimeters, whatever. I'll stick to pixels. 180 by 720. Okay, and basically everything just else just kind of leave default. Now, just basic scroll wheel, zoom up and down, or scroll up and down. Hit Alt to zoom out and to zoom in. Control to zoom left and right, and Shift to like really uh, roll in and out. All right, so to start off, I'm going to show you guys basic you know, the text. You know, just click the text tool, click once, and it allows you unlimited text. So. Fail. Then, just to exit out, just hit escape. Now I'm going to drag this up. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to drag it up. But so that it doesn't, you know, mess with the text or anything, I'm going to hold shift. And it'll scale uniformly. Now, we probably want to do something with this text so it's not your everyday text. So, we're going to go ahead and select it. And then we'll go ahead and just select in here and then hit the down key. Find some really awesome text. I like that. There we go. Go ahead and move it over. Scale uniformly. And I'm just clicking and dragging. There we go. Now I probably want to add some sort of decal in the background. So we'll go ahead and start on that. You should have a basic idea of what you're going to do. And what's nice about Illustrator is it automatically draws the stuff up for you. But, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and make it look really awesome here with lots of smoky looking stuff. There we go. Just make it look really cool, whatever. And there's the basic decal. I'm doing a pretty junky job right now because I love you guys in the audience and I don't want to waste your time doing something expansive. So now I'm going to go ahead and just draw your everyday, well, hold on, your everyday rectangle by holding down and dragging. And we will cut this out. So right now all it is is just a border. See, because it's selected down here. I'll, I'll show you all this after uh, as we go. You'll select this. And since it's already this, if you don't want the border, you'll just hit this little thing with a red line through it. And now you got an empty square. However, if you wanted to fill it in, go ahead and color it or, you know, whatever. So I'll go ahead and drag it up, right-click it, arrange, send it back. That puts it behind everything. I'm going to go ahead and put this behind text. Scale it down. Oops. oops. Control-Z. Obviously undoes it. There we go. Now I'm just going to do that again. And you see these green constraint lines. Uh, those green constraint lines, they, they kind of keep everything in size. Go ahead and arrange. Send it back. Turn it red. Pink. I want red. Red. There we go. Cancel. 
and there's that. So now I'm just going to click down and drag so I can select all of these. Be careful not to select the rectangle, but I want this one right there. And we're going to change these. Now we're going to give them an outline, and then we're going to set their stroke size. So now that we've selected these, I'm going to go ahead and give them their own color. Click the color palette, make them green. Now you see they filled, so we don't want that fill, so we'll just click the X there, we'll go ahead and click that, and then we'll select the green again. Now, if I clicked away, you'd see that they were all green. I'm just doing that for easier. Now, I'm going to go ahead and set the, the uh, size right here. You can do this to everything. Um, the rectangles, the um, even the text itself controls it. So I'll show you first with the text. Since it's selected, I'll go ahead and change the not super thick text with green outlines. I'm going to go ahead and scale it down a bit to like 4. Let's select the text again. We'll go 4. There we go. That looks pretty awesome. We'll go ahead and set these to, to a size. We'll give them 3. No, 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 no. We want 2. There we go. Now we've got steamy tutorial text. We could add images back here. Um, your own little whatever. If you have a logo, you should be able to, like if you built a logo in After Effects or something, you should be able to go and save it and then import it into this and place it anywhere you want. So, um, yeah, this is the basics for this. So now we're going to move on to the Blender. Oh, first you're going to save it. Now, generally you do want to save it like this. But because you would be, um, you're saving it as an AI or um, whatever. You can save it as a PDF, Adobe Illustrator, FXKG, FXG, .eps, you know, so on. I'll stick to the uh, basic name tutorial. Now, it already defaults to that because that's what you named it when you entered the new one. So I'll just save it. And then you get this window. Hit OK. Now to export this, or to get it out as a .jpeg or a um, .png, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my pictures. Hold on, excuse me, guesties. <coughs> okay, bless me. All right, we're going to go to logo since I already have a folder. Just go to unused here and put them in random. All right, now since it automatically defaults to that, you have all of these here: a meta file, a tif, text, targa, png, Photoshop, Macintosh, JPEG, Flash. You get the picture. We're just gonna save it as a PNG. More, uh, more ways, more uh, reason, more options. All right, now you can save it to like a really low pixels per inch, medium, high, or your own. I'll stick to high because I don't want to freeze the computer. And then you can also change the background to black, which would make it look like that. This is your little preview window. White. I'll give you this look. Or transparent, which is why I like PNG because you can save it as transparent. I'll hit OK, and it will render out if it doesn't freeze. There we go. And that is how to do the um, you know basics in Illustrator. Now we're going to move on over to Blender. Let me just X out of this. We're going to move on over into Blender, and you know you know the basic interface. Um, so I'm just going to shift A, add mesh, plane, oh, nope, fail. Shift A, add mesh, cube, plane, I mean. Wow, I'm just tired. I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. All right, we're going to top view by hitting 7. And I'm holding shift and the mouse wheel to pan. And I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And we'll go ahead and subdivide. And don't do this too many times, it will crash your computer horribly. I'll just do it three times. Three cuts. Or what you could do is just do it once and then come down into cuts, just enter three. As soon as it lets me. There we go. Now that that's done, I'm zooming in by using the mouse wheel. Basic plane, obviously. I'm going to give it four cuts. Anyway, 
I'm going to go ahead and start editing. To hit A to deselect all points. B to select uh, to give you box select. Select that. I'm going to hit X and delete that. Delete faces. There. Now I'm going to delete all of these. So hit actually. I'm going to show you another feature. I'm going to hit C, and that gives you this select tool. I'm going to move, uh, scale it up by using the mouse wheel. Just select all of these by rolling over them. You know what? I'm going to go into face select mode because I do not like hold it, escape to get out of the C mode because I do not like selecting these in the middle. I want these. I want these in the middle. I'm holding shift and right mouse clicking. And I want these. So I'm going to right mouse click. There we go. X or just delete enter since it'll automatically default to that. Now you have your basic T. But I do not want this simpleton looking one. So I'm gonna hit line select, select that one, hit E, and then hit Y. This will extrude it down. But I did not want to select that one, so I'm going to hit Control Z. I'm going to select this one. Actually, I want to do points. So I'll just hit A, B, select this, G, and we'll move it up like this. You know what? I'm going to do it this way. This is bad practice normally, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to select these three points and hit F. That'll give it a face. And do that for the same thing on the other side. F A. There we go. Now I probably will want to do that. Actually, I'll probably want to do that right here. So that was really retarded of me to delete those. F. There we go. Top view seven. There we go. Now I'm gonna extrude this right here. I want to extrude this side. E. And X will keep it on that axis. And we'll extrude it. Actually, we'll go like this. Let's see where it's right there. Hit E again. Hit X. And do that twice. Just that we have the same basic shape here. Do that here. E, X. E, X. Hey, G, this over the X. I'm not making any sense. Now we're going to do this down here. I'm going to be it, then F, then A, then B, then face, then A. And now what you see here is what you got. Now I'm going to go into the front view. A, actually, I don't want everything selected. I'm going to hit B, extrude in the Z direction. And now you have a whoops. I need to show you guys about this too. Now, when in Blender or edit mode, it defaults to having this selection right here, which is it'll only select the faces that it can see, like this. See, it only saw these faces. So it'll only select those, not faces. So, what you'll want to do is deselect that, undo that, go back into the front view, hit B. Select everything. Make sure everything's selected. Go back in the front. Hit E, Z, Z. Sometimes it will default. And now you have your, I'm hitting Z to go into wireframe, your solid mesh. And so, yeah, so mess around with this stuff. You can render it out by uh, uh, change the world. Um, you also want to set your camera to whatever angle. Just right click it, Alt R, Alt G. That'll reset the rotation. I'll just G it up to Z. That was perfect. Now we'll go ahead and go to the world. Scroll this one out. Go to the world edit. Change the horizon color to white. Just that it matches the paper. And we'll go ahead and give this a material. Just real quick. Give it a reddish pinkish material I don't care mess with this stuff um, we're not gonna add a texture so then we'll go to the render settings and since you're only gonna take one picture you'll whoops scroll down here say where it's gonna end up 
I'll just put it in my textures. Except I'll end up deleting it later. <laughs> um, for the best quality picture, you'll go up to 16. You can save it as a PNG or whatever. JPEG, I'm going to stick to PNG. And then we'll just hit image. And it'll render it out. You also want to set your lights up. But uh, there you go. So um, mess around with the settings like I, like always. Once you're done rendering it out, drag it into the Inventor file or Illustrator file, and then position it. Whatever. This will give you a really cool 3D uh, look. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Um, feel free to message us if you have any questions about this. Um, and look forward to more tutorials coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching. See you later, guys.